Hey guys, this is Solar Rack 333 with another review, and here I have the Transformers Kingdom Rhinox. I guess call it another second attempt. <laughs> uh, when I first did this, I just gave it a black wash uh, and then some, uh, you know, metallic dry brushing. But staring at this thing. I'm like no I can make the Rhino look a lot better uh, and so I went ahead and gave it a just a gray dry brushing <laughs> so uh, to give it that you know that thick hide even gave it the tip of his tail a little black wash little hairs and then dry brushed his horn a little bit uh, and yeah I'm, I'm I definitely don't have the testers paint to do this so I just used uh, whatever acrylic paint paints I do have and just black and white makes gray and uh, just made it look you know good I guess and then for the horn uh, like brown and white you know, just to make it as light as possible and yeah I definitely like how it turned out and I hate transforming this thing so I'll be right back I'm back and one thing I don't like about watching other people's reviews is when they start in robot mode and then transform them into the alt mode it just seems wrong show the alt mode and then surprise they're a robot in disguise and reviewers that laugh at their own jokes and reviewers that are so long-winded anyway <laughs> I think he definitely looks a lot better with the uh, gray dry brushing. I think it makes the robot mode pop. Because again, uh, for the robot mode, well, for the entire figure, all I did was give it a black wash and then did the silver dry brushing. Uh, but now that I've gone over with the gray dry brushing, I think that weathered look on the bot mode looks really cool. Yeah, look how he turned out. I wish I still had the Generations figure that I customized. That's the one that I repainted into uh, like a, more like a movie Ironhide. I was able to do the head swap and I gave him the movie Ironhide head. Uh, probably gave it a realistic rhinoceros uh, paint for the alt mood. And then the robot mode, I think I did gunmetal uh, to get a more like movie Ironhide vibe. And it blended in nicely with the gray. Uh, so, and I thought about doing it with this one too, but I wasn't able to find a good head uh, to do a swap with this figure. Um, so I put the Rhinox head back on and then painted them up. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with how he turned out. Looks cool. Like I said, the, the transforming this is a pain. That's why I did it off camera. <laughs> the, the, the legs are a nightmare. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with how he turned out. So there he is. Kingdom Rhinox. Thanks for watching, guys.